we're here. So we've now tested both the XB8 E21 and the XB8 E20. And we're here to give you our opinion, him, him and mine, on how the cars drive and which one is, I guess, air quotations, better. There is gonna be a little bit of, I guess, an addendum to what we're gonna be testing because both of us are running shorty packs already. And the reason we run shorty packs is we both run the Nitro cars, the XB820 and the XB821 Nitro. And we find that the weight of the shorty packs together are very similar to the Nitro cars. And we find that a change on the electric car usually correlates pretty well with the Nitro and it gives you a very similar feel. So the one thing we can say right off the bat is the 4S brick pack. So your standard like 4S 6000 yeah, or something like standard that. Standard dimension one, non-shorty. Yeah, so non, this style, non-shorty pack. Um, it's gonna make the car feel a little bit more tame. It's not gonna be quite as aggressive just because it is gonna be heavier in most cases. And uh, the balance of the car is very good with how they have the battery in this side of the motor, and how they kind of change some stuff around. So that's kind of the one consensus we found together yep. uh, as a yep. group. Um, so this is why we do it. So if you don't run a nitro car, try it both ways, see what you like better. Uh, but this is what we found to directly correlate with our nitro program a little bit easier. Uh, if you're only testing one car instead of two and then making separate changes and trying to keep track of that can be a little bit of a chore. So we'll get right into the running video. He's run my car, I've run his car. Um, so we'll get you some running video first, and then we'll go at the end of this video, talk about what we feel is better and worse on each car yep. and how we describe them driving. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit windy, but first up we got Sharp driving the XB8 E20 with the most graceful rollover ever. And he's gonna get marshaled. So you can see our track's a little bit on the loose side. It's quite on the narrow side too. It does have quite a bit of elevation change up that back stretch. So this is a dual shorty pack get that weight a little bit closer to the nitro like we talked about at the beginning of the video. As you can tell they got lots of durability. That's a positive. This section is oddly hard. A little bit at an angle. Whew. So there's the lap with the XB8020.
here we are with the XB8E21. Aaron at the controls here, ripping a few solo laps. Looks really good through there. Got out in the marbles. Through our crow's foot there. Up onto the second half of the back straight, coming through the snake's back. Now back on the front seat. I gotta say, the uh, 21 car with the saddle pack versus the uh, side by side shorties uh, in the normal configuration like lower location it does seem to jump a little nicer So now we got Sean driving the XB8 E21. Off to a really good start. Put it in the garage. <laughs> what a guy, what a guy. XB8E20 in the breeze.
we are back. We have run both cars. We're going to now give us give you our opinions. So remember, these what we're going to express is simply opinion based. This is not the you know black and white. This is you know the best. This is the worst. Anything like that. This is just our quote unquote feel of the car, which is kind of tough to say, being that we don't actually sit in the car. But as yeah, our seers, we always <laughs> say, how does the car feel? But yeah. Anyway. And this is all gonna be dependent on track too. Every track's gonna be a little bit different. 100%. Everyone's driving is a little bit different, but yep. this is we, our opinion. We did get a, some different conditions. We had our track drastically changes in traction Ooh. level, especially yeah. between dry to wet. We ran them on a dry surface and on a wet surface. We made sure, we tried to keep everything as even as possible. Um, same tires, we were running the same batteries, we were running the same electronics. Yeah. Uh, everything across the board other than, other than the cars themselves. Yeah. So, so the general consensus is that the 20 is a great car. Don't get me wrong, it's an absolute fantastic car. The balance on the 21, mind you, with the shorty packs um, in the back, the two S's, tends to jump a little bit nicer I from do, what we I found. agree with that, yeah. I definitely found myself the way I it felt again, as yeah. I said, with the, the saddle pack shorties in the rearward position and everything like that on the 21 car, did feel a lot more, other than it, the fact that it's not making any noise, it really felt like I was driving my nitro car. Yeah, it seems to be a little bit more balanced and we keep coming back to the nitro car. For us, it does make a huge yeah. difference because we focus on buggies instead of having one buggy, one truggy. Um, but I mean, this was right from Ty Tessman when he gave us the idea for doing the dual shorties in this package. Yeah, so um, this was this was the old way to do it. So yeah. it was with the two shorties put together in, in series over here, and then this added weight to counteract it to kind of get the same balance on all, all four wheels as the, the nitro car in 20. Yeah. Um, in 21, however, and obviously throughout the 20 season, I'm sure they were developing this. Yeah, which, which is the dual shorties at the back. Which is, you know, always great to see that you know, a company is always looking to keep evolving, pushing the envelope, yeah. and trying to make that car better for its end consumer. Yes. Yeah. So the other thing with the balance, um, I mean, I didn't really find the cars having like any more corner speed or anything like that. Uh, the one thing I will say is the 21 felt a little bit more locked in in the rear end. So if you are gonna be in a, maybe a little bit of a looser condition, the 21 did feel a little bit more locked in. It, it just felt, a, comparing the two cars, um, to me, it just felt easier to drive, a little bit easier to drive. Yeah. Um, it jumped really nice. Not that the, the 20 car didn't jump good, it just, this one seemed to be a little more predictable. Yeah. And, and that maybe that's a part being that the, the center of gravity is being kept a little bit lower yep. uh, with the new design. So yeah, and a little bit better, I felt through the bumps, but I do agree, corner speed, everything else, there wasn't much difference, I felt. Yeah, I mean, he would have a lot more knowledge on this car in comparison to me. I picked it up, ran a couple packs through it, mm -hmm. and I'm kind of gathering my consensus. I have a lot more time on this car than he does. Yeah. So um, the, the one thing I will say with the, the 21 is coming back to the easy uh, driving, the ease of driving it. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a couple people actually run this car, my dad included. He's not the best driver in the world, but that's the one thing he did say right off the bat. The car is gonna be very, very neutral and depending on how much wheel input you put into the steering on the controller, that's the exact amount that you are gonna get on the front end. Yeah. He said it's really easy to drive smooth just because of that reason. Yeah, I just, it's so linear. Like, yeah. like just like he said, like you put in X amount of steering input, you get X amount of steering out of the car. Yeah. The one thing also talking about that yeah. was I found with braking, I don't know if you noticed this as much, but I found when you brake with 21, you still have a little bit of steering, like it doesn't transfer as much weight onto the nose. It, stay, it did tend to stay flat. Yeah, yeah the 20 did, yeah. did kind of dive a little bit more, and I didn't seem like that was a, a terrible thing by any means, and that could be how we have the brakes set up on the radio and how we have them in the speed control. But the 21 tends to stay a little bit more flat. So um, all in all, I think the changes that x-ray did are a huge positive a lot of suspension components mind you did not change so it's a lot of chassis a lot of no just battery like, like literally if you undo your your rear assembly your front assembly 
on each car, we could literally swap the two yeah. and it, nothing else would change. Yeah, so it's configuration. Yeah. So if you're thinking of, you know, upgrading your 20 to a 21. Which is what this guy's gonna be doing. <laughs> so that guy's gonna be doing. Um, honestly, we do say it is a very noticeable change and we do recommend the 21 over the 20. If you have a 20 and you'd only have, you know, a couple battery packs through it and you're still humming and hawing, Honestly, run your 20. See what you think. Mm -hmm. If you are going to be looking maybe for a little bit more steering, a little bit more balance, this is where this setup is going to be a lot nicer. Um, would you go out and buy a new kit? In your case where you have a season on your 20, would you go and buy a 21? Given with the parts that you need to change in that, and it doesn't equate that close to the cost of a whole new kit, yeah. I'm like myself, I'm just upgrading this kit. Yeah. And one of the other reasons why I can I feel I can do that is the longevity I get. I seem to find that I'm getting out of my X-ray cars. I'll agree with that. After you know, I have a gallon of fuel in my nitro and probably eight or ten packs through this. The car hasn't stopped out. You keep up with your regular maintenance. Everything is going to be pretty mm -hmm. awesome. So if you do have a twenty, honestly, buy the parts, convert it to a twenty-one, and you'll be more than happy with it. So hundred percent. Yeah. So that's our take on it. Take it for what it's worth. If you have a twenty run it if you want to try a 21 buy the parts versus buying the kit unless you have a ton of maintenance you have to do um, it doesn't usually work out to be much better video so that is our take on it like i said this is all going to be opinion based this is what we found and take it for what it's worth from all the video that you guys and girls seen in uh the in previous the role yeah. Um, but yeah leave a comment down below if you have more questions on it um Thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. Don't forget to, to hit the bell. Yeah, I always forget that. I always forget that. And don't forget the subscribe button. We really do appreciate it. So we'll catch you on the next one. And, and stay share tuned. to all your friends. Stay tuned. There'll be more x-ray content with the nitros as well. So You betcha. Have a good one.